Hi guys, in lack of videos on YouTube on the current Boomkin, I figured I'd just show you the standard build that the top tier druids are using, or well, not the druids, the Boomkins more specifically, and I'm just gonna dive right into it. I'm not gonna go over stat prior or the trinkets and yada yada, that, that kind of stuff you can just find it on Icy Banes or Noxic. I'm just gonna go through the talents right off the bat. So here we are, talents. Well, Star-Lord, no-brainer. This one, the level 31, is kind of your choice. I, I prefer this place of beast just so I can get out of the tricky situations and mechanics I have to dodge. This affinity thing, I would go for Guardian Affinity if you're doing Mythic progression and you have to take away less damage. And the distance doesn't really matter that much. Typhoon is a no-brainer. Of course, you can choose Mighty Bash if you're doing PvP. But here's the thing that becomes really interesting. In the 75 tree right here, Soul of the Forest is... I'm not going to even go through that one. But Incarnation is a spell you want to go to. Why? Because you want to pull a high, really high opener as a Boomkin. You are, you're a very, very competent burst in class and you want to kind of enhance that. So what, what does Incarnation do? Well, it makes it so that your spells do 35% more damage and you generate, as it says, 50% more astral power. In other words, it generates more power so you can just start shooting star surges like a machine gun. And then we have Blessing of the Asians. Now this one is kind of interchangeable. You can you can choose to sh go with shooting stars as well, but I prefer Blessing of the Asians. And if you look at the top tier druids, 95% of everyone is using Blessing of the Asians. Why? Well, as it says right there, 25% more generation from your Solar Wrath and Lunar Strike. And for an opener, if you have the uh, solar version that looks like this, the Sunkin, as you could say, you get a lot more burst as an opener if you're using Time Warp, and it's amazing. And the last one, of course, is a Fury of Fury of Illumin build. I'm not gonna go through that one. Just use Nature's Balance, okay? And why? Why do I want you to choose these talents, and why does everyone go with this special talent build? Pretty easy. Incarnation helps your burst, Blessing of the Asians also enhances your burst and keeps you relevant throughout the fight so you can just keep putting out those star surges. And Nature's Balance, what it does is it makes your Sunfire and Moonfire just extend the duration of at least every Solar Wrath and Lunar Strike you do on that target. So you don't have to constantly keep reapplying your dots on the target. But with all of that said, how do you work this gypsy magic? It's really easy. Uh, I'm gonna show you the very slow version of this, what you wanna do. Just, we're just gonna presume that we're actually gonna use Harry at the beginning of the fight right now, right? So what you do, and yes, I do have key bindings even if it doesn't show down here. What you do, you start applying Sunfire, and then you Moonfire, and then you blow all of your moon spells right here you just dump all of those bad boys right there boom and you see that i'm at 66 astral power in the moon form dump a star surge and then dump your empowered spells star surge solar wrath lunar strike moon spell star surge same thing again keep dumping those bad boys and you see that the ticks of the moon and uh, sunfire those are not allowed to tick out. Of course, they're ticking out right now because I'm giving you the explanation in the slow version of this. But you, you are not allowed to let them tick out. If you would check the logs of the top tier druids, it's up 90, as a minimum 95% of the fights, the dots are up on their, on their target, on the boss, or multiple targets. They do a lot of damage, way more than you can actually imagine. So let's go through this again. I'm gonna pop all the cooldowns this time around. I'm just gonna do a Drums of Fury right here so you can just see how it looks. Of course I have a Trinket as well. Uh, if you don't have a Trinket, it's fine. Absolutely fine. I'm just gonna show you how it looks. There we go. Incarnation, and then Drums, Sunfire, Moonfire, dump all the Moon spells. Of course I'm gonna cap myself right here, but there you go. Star Surge. And then Star Surge. You never ever want to be capped on Astral Power. So what I'm doing right now is as soon as I get close to even being capped, I just 
dumb to star surge right there. This is it. This is the entire rotation. There's nothing more to it. Keep using your spells until you have star surge. Dump the star surge as soon as your moon spell is up. Use the moon spell. You want to use it on cooldown. And this is it. There's nothing more to it. Absolutely nothing more to it. Sunfire, Moonfire. Use your moon spells and cooldown. Solar Wrath and Lunar Strike Empowerment. And you just dump star surges on that bad boy. That's it. There's nothing more to the Boom King right now. Now, Boomkin is one of those classes where you can actually see very clearly when they get better gear and the DPS just goes higher and higher and your burst just gets higher and higher. So it's one of those classes I really, really like. Boomkins are very balanced. And of course, you could go with the Fury of the Loon kind of build right now, but I'm not going to go through that in this video. If there's an interest in that, I could just go through that in another video. But... Leave, leave this video a comment, leave it a like, a subscription, whatever, and let me know if you want me to do that. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.